Greetings, I'm Larry Williams, the Director of the Center for the Advancement of Research Methods and Analysis, or CARM at Wayne State University, and I'm pleased to have this opportunity to give you a brief description of a new short course uh, that I will be offering as part of our CARMA short course program. Uh, in addition to the course I'm about to describe, I also do an introduction to structural equation methods as well as an intermediate structural equation methods course uh, that focuses on model evaluation. Uh, this course, this new course that I have developed and am very excited to offer is entitled Design and Confirmatory Factor Analysis Techniques for Common Method Variants. Uh, as you probably know, a considerable amount of social science research uh, including that conducted in the area of organizational studies, uh, uses employee self-reports, and for many, many years, uh, related concerns of common method variants have proven difficult for authors, uh, reviewers, and editors to deal with. So in this short course, I'm going to try to do several things that will help you be successful uh, in getting your research published. Uh, first of all, We'll spend a little bit of time talking about sources of method variants associated with different types of measurement strategies. And we'll also, also review evidence about the prevalence of common method variants and the consequences associated with it in terms of common method bias. Uh, in addition to that, we'll talk about research design and try to look at some re recommendations that have been provided recently about different ways of collecting data using self-reports and other uh, sources of information uh, with an aim for controlling for common method variance problems. Uh, given the history of common method variance problems, uh, there have been a variety of analytical techniques that have been offered uh, to attempt to deal with these problems and we'll review these traditional approaches, including those associated with correlations and regressions and exploratory factor analysis. Uh, but the main chunk of the short course will uh, review confirmatory factor analysis and confirmatory factor models and modeling strategies for dealing with common method variants. And we'll focus on three main types of CFA models. Uh, first of all, uh, the use of marker variables has become increasingly common and I have been uh, involved in developing uh, techniques and strategies for using CFA for dealing with marker variables as well as providing some type of guidance related to the selection of marker variables. So that will be uh, one important part of our CFA section. Also, over the years, researchers have had what I've come to call measured method effect variables, meaning variables associated with sources of method variants for which we actually have measures. Uh, most notably, over the years, social desirability and negative affectivity. So we'll talk about how one can use confirmatory factor analysis when one has those types of variables uh, as a way of controlling for common method variants and investigating common method bias. And then finally, uh, the unmeasured latent method construct approach is also used frequently in organizational research. Uh, one uses this when one <clears throat> does not have a measure, uh, such as a marker variable or a measured method effect variable. And so we'll discuss the issues related to the use of this technique, as well as some strategies for how it can be used uh, more effectively. Uh, throughout the workshop, or the short course rather, it's a balance of lecture and hands-on activity, uh, computer analyses, examples, assignments, and I do have a set of assignments that I'll use in the short course, but I will also encourage um, participants to bring their own data set and work on applying these CFA strategies uh, to their own research during the actual short course. So uh, I very much enjoy teaching Karma short courses, uh, all of them, 
Uh, I enjoy getting to meet the faculty and students from other universities. I enjoy the satisfaction of offering something that uh, can help people out. Uh, and in this particular case, I've been involved in research on CFA techniques for method variance problems uh, for throughout most of my career. Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a great opportunity for me to get to focus on what I've been studying and also hopefully uh, help researchers be able to deal with this important problem. So as is true with all of our Karma Short courses, we have a lot of information on the Karma website and uh, I, I encourage you to visit that to get more information or you can contact me directly uh, if you have any questions and I hope to see you at one of these short courses, including this new one that I'll be offering. Thanks.